and your shrimps do you have to eat before you make your skin turn pink? Eat too much and you'll get sick. Shrimps are pretty rich. Hey genuine lovers, so I forgot to film my intro while I'm wearing this look so that's why I'm doing a voiceover right now. So for today, I'll be glomming up for our dance presentation. So stay tuned if you want to know how I got this look. And without further ado, let's hop right in the video. First, I'm using Nivea Day Cream to moisturize my skin which is really good for oily skin. And then I'm going to prime my skin using this Professional from Benefit. You can skip this part but for me I have to use this since I have some acne scars and spots to cover. Here we go, it's time for foundation. So I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Liquid Foundation. So I'm just going to be spreading it on my face and the rest on my neck. And I'm just going to be blending it using a beauty blender. I'm just actually lightly tapping the beauty blender on my face like a bouncing motion if that makes sense. It's like dub 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 and not actually dragging the products. I'm using this Avon concealer stick which is really a favorite since then when it comes to covering my acne scars. And then I'm going to be blending it lightly with the same beauty blender. This time I'll be trying Maybelline concealer for the first time. I just bought it and that's why it's giving me this crazy face because it's so hard to open. Okay, there you go at last. So I'm going to be applying it under my eyes, bridge up my nose, at that part as well, under my nose, on my cupid's bow, chin, and on the center of my forehead. And now I'm going to be blending it using the same beauty blender so you know the drill genesis. So I'll be using this contouring stick. They say that to properly contour your face, you gotta start at the edge of your ears towards the end of your lips, but you just have to align it to your pupil. And now I'm also gonna be contouring my jaw, my forehead, actually my temples, and then the side of my nose. And I'm going to be using the other end of the stick, which is the highlighter. So I'm going to be just putting it under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose, center of my forehead, Cupid's bow, because it has this shiny effect that really works good for me. And then blending part again with the same beauty blender. There you are! It seems like there's no difference, right? But look at my nose! And then I'm going to be using Revlon Translucent Powder to set everything. I'm going to be shaking it to get some products, dip my brush on it, and then brush, 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 brush! I'll also be brushing, of course, and put the products on my neck. And this time, I'm going to be using Oriental Princess Translucent Powder, put it on my under eye, bridge of my nose, and hollows of my cheeks, and the rest is on my neck. So this is what they call baking. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to be shaping my brows first. I'll be like drawing the lines lightly, not to create those harsh lines, which is not really good. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. And there you are. That's a good shape. I'm using this two-sided stick. The other one is for filling in and the other one is for concealing. So to fill in my brows, I'm going to be using my Sibana brush. Just fill it in. So if you notice, I'm not putting product at the end of my brows towards the center of my forehead because I just want to use this pulley to blend it in and I don't want to create the solid lines on it. Now I'm going to be using the other end of this stick. I'm not going to be using its brush but instead I'll be using my Sivana brush and apply it gently to clear excess lines and to make my brow look sharp and clean. And with a flat brush, I'm going to be blending the concealer, so I'm just going to be brushing it lightly and smoothly and gently because I don't want to ruin everything. Before I put my brow mascara, I'll be blending first all the powder on my face because I think they are already okay. Now I'm using Melinda Brow Mascara to keep my brows in place the whole day. I don't have any eye primer, so I'm using this concealer instead, which just works fine for me. And I'm going to be blending it with my finger. 
And so yes, I'm using tape and I'm putting it on my outer V just to give me some nice and smooth eyeshadow application. So I'll be using this eyeshadow palette from Etude House. Choosing that color, I'll be applying it above my crease. And next is that gold shimmering shade. I'm going to be applying it on my eyelids. And since I think I can already do it, so I already removed the tape and I think I can manage it. And using that darkest shade, I'm going to be putting it on my outer V. So I'll be just adding products on it, add more if I need to. So I'm actually not going to be blending it yet, but I'm just going to be putting the product on my outer V. And there you go. It's time to use a new brush, which is my blending brush. And I'm going to be just blending it in using a circular motion. And I'm going to be working my way towards the center of my crease. Hola, that's it. But we're not yet done. So I'm going to be using this shiny, shimmering, like nearly white color. And I'm going to be putting it on the center of my crease. And just blend it lightly. And this time, I'm going to be mixing this black color and pink color. And put it on my lower waterline. And this is the most challenging part for me to give myself that wing bold liner. <laughs> it's really driving me crazy. It took me a while to finish this. And I can't avoid to make mistakes. That's part of it. So I'm just going to be using cotton bud to clean it. With all those hard work, I was able to do it. But the only problem is hopefully I can even it out on the other side. <laughs> May the wings of my liner always be even. So there you go. Another mistake. And I'm gonna be filling it in. At the end, it's a success. Oh my gosh! Holla, 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 baby. That's it! Okay, using the Savannah palette, I'm gonna be choosing the black color. And since I can't really do it, like putting eyeliner on my waterline, I'm gonna be using this black eyeshadow instead. Using this bronzer and highlighter kit, I'm going to be giving myself some nose lines. So I'm going to be using the bronzer and put it on the sides of my nose. Okay, so gently so I won't create harsh lines. And I'm going to be using the highlighter to put it on the bridge of my nose. And bronzer, I'll be putting it on my jaw and also on the hollows of my cheeks, temples. And now it's time for blush on. So I'm going to be using that shade and give myself some rosy shades. Okay, there we go. With this Glim Kit, I'm going to be highlighting my cheekbone because I need some glow for today. I'm going to be working with my lashes. I'm going to be using this curler and Maybelline Hyper Curl Mascara. I'll be curling it first and then mascara. And then I'm going to be doing that on the other side. Since I already have this winged liner and I put too much color on my eyes, I'm not going to be brightening up my lips. So I'm just going to be using this nude lip liner and I'm going to be using nude lipstick as well. And then I'm going to be using this naked lipstick brush to even out the color and make it smooth. And to set everything, I'm going to be using Gina McCray Professional Makeup Spray. And I'm just going to be spraying it on my face. Da 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 da. It's done!